please stand for the grand promenade of the Clear Horizons Early College High School class of 2017. standing for the presentation of colors in the national anthem. Male graduates and male guests, please remove your mortar boards and hats. I pledge allegiance to the flag to the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible.
God so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the that our flag was still there. Oh, oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free You may be seated. We want to thank the Clear Springs High School Junior Army ROTC for joining us today for the presentation of colors. They are under the direction of Lieutenant Colonel Leonard Cianciato. We would also like to thank Chris Anderson for his wonderful rendition of the national anthem. Graduates, if you have committed to serve in any branch of the military, please stand and be recognized. Also at this time, we would like to ask that all men and women who are currently serving or who have served in any branch of the military, please stand so that we may honor your service to our country. Thank you all for your service. You may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, for the fourth consecutive year, the Clear Horizon Student Council, Council has been named a National Gold Council of Excellence. This amazing feat could not have occurred without the leadership and participation of our seniors year in and year out. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the executive president of our award-winning student council, Miss Sydney Jenkins. I remember when the lottery first came out announcing who got into Clear Horizons in 2013. It was a giant list of random ID numbers, nameless and completely unknown to me. Little did I know then, as an eighth grader, thinking I knew everything, how much would change and what those numbers would come to mean. Now, here we are, the furthest thing from a group of anonymous numbers. We are a family graduating from this wild place called Clear Horizons, and I couldn't be happier with how it turned out. So welcome, class of 2017, to your high school graduation and the beginning of the rest of your lives. But of course, we couldn't have got here without the help of our family, friends, and teachers. I would like to give a special shout out to Ms. Collick and Ms. Nylon for being absolutely incredible and the moms we never knew we needed. I would also like to give a special thank you to my mom and sister <laughs> uh, I wouldn't have been the person I am today without them, and they were amazing role models in my life. And on behalf of everybody at this, in the senior class, I want to thank all of the guests here today who've come to this and every award show, or award, since we <laughs> were little kids. 
with your incessant picture taking and love, both of which we are so grateful. So class of 2017, this is our last day together, but as we go out and conquer the world, we will carry with us the lessons and memories we made here. And no matter what, we will always be part of the family. Thank you and congratulations. Hello. I am honored to introduce our platform guests. Please hold your applause while they're all introduced. Platform guests, please stand briefly as I call your name. From the Clear Creek Independent School District Board of Trustees, Board President Mrs. Paige Rander, Vice President Dr. Laura DuPont, Secretary Mr. Jay Cunningham, Trustee Mr. Charles Pond, Trustee Mr. Chris Reed, and Trustee Mr. Arturo Sanchez. From the Clear Creek Independent School District Education Service Center, Superintendent Dr. Greg Smith, Deputy Superintendent Dr. Stephen Ebel, Assistant Superintendent of Secondary Schools, Mr. Scott Bockart. Chief Technology Officer, Dr. Robert Bayer. And Director of Student Personnel Services, Ms. Suzanne Thomas. From the San Jacinto Community College Leadership Team, Provost Dr. Brenda Jones. Assistant Vice Chancellor for Student Success, Dr. Pamela Campbell. And Director for Dual Enrollment Services, Mrs. Kristen Ross. And last, and definitely all of our favorites, from Clear Horizons Early College High School, Principal Dr. Brett Lemley. <laughs> Dean of Instruction, Dr. Brooke Parker. And Lead Counselor and Favorite Mom, Miss Paula Evard. <laughs> Good afternoon. I am Brett Lemley, and I'm proud to say that I'm the principal of Clear Horizons Early College High School, in case you didn't catch that earlier. It is my honor to introduce, introduce to you the class of 2017. Members of the class of 2017, please stand if you have earned more than 60 college credit hours. Members of the class of 2017, please stand if you have earned more than 50 college credit hours. Congratulations. You may be seated. Class of 2017, please stand if you have worked while attending Clear Horizons. Thank you. You may be seated. Please stand if you are a first generation college graduate. Thank you, you may be seated. Please stand if you plan to complete a four-year college degree. Thank you, you may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the very talented class of 2017 for the Clear Horizons Early College High School. Let's give them one more round. Class of 2017, four and a half years ago, I walked into your eighth grade campuses and did my very, very first student parent information session. And you guys were there. Throughout the spring, while you were finishing up eighth grade, I continued to learn about Clear Horizons and, ama and how amazing our school really is. And then in August, you showed up. For my first Coyote Camp, and you were full of questions and energy, and you really taught me how truly amazing our school can be. From the first day, we learned from one another and together we led our school to higher achievements, from going to the Houston Food Bank and the conveyor belt room, remember that? Going to the Houston Arboretum and battling invasive species and trails that needed mulch. As, even as freshmen and sophomores, you showed how amazing you are as a class and how you learned how to work together. You came in energetic and excited and ready to take on the challenge of attending one of the best schools in the country. You were a happy group and full of questions, and you continue to question, and you have soared to great achievements. Who could forget the Mongols taking the field during our first flag football tournament? Or what about that class t-shirt that seemed to appear overnight? 
Ladies and gentlemen, did you know that the class of 2017 is the largest class to ever graduate Clear Horizons Early College High School? That's right, it's amazing. Class of 2017, in addition to being the largest class ever to graduate from Clear Horizons, you have also accumulated over 14,000 service learning hours. Yeah. You've been accepted into over 40 universities across the country. Oh, yeah. And last but not least, and it was very impressive, you have received over $4.5 million in scholarships. Congratulations. <laughs> You've done quite well while being here with us, and I know you're going to continue to do well in your new adventures. You've always been a class of great humor and great aspirations, and it has been my sincere pleasure working with you these past four years. You're wonderful, and we're going to miss you. Hang on to your humor. Hang on to your high aspirations. Aristotle said it best in one of my favorite quotes. He said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Class of 2017, you have been habitually excellent, and I know you're going to change the world. Congratulations. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Pamela Camel, Vice Chancellor, Associate Vice Chancellor for Student Success of San Jacinto College to the podium for her Vice Chancellor's address. Thank you, Dr. Limley. Good afternoon to the families, friends, special guests, administrators, board members, and college partners as we gather to celebrate the ninth graduating class of Clear Horizons Early College High School. It is my honor today to share some thoughts with this graduating class of 2017. As I began to construct this message, I wanted to challenge you and give you something to take forward. I wanted to impart words that would remain with you as you move on from this experience to the next. Look around. This auditorium is full of leaders, administrators, teachers, parents, guests, and students who have chosen to lead or fallen into leadership roles. Leaders of families, schools, classrooms, clubs, places of worship, civic organizations, governing bodies, and communities. No matter what kind of leader you are, of whatever kind of group, you have some obligations, not just to conduct meetings or supervise others, but to develop a vision of what is to come. Leaders with vision can survive difficult times of doubt or turmoil in their organization. However, there are characteristics of authentic leaders that I want to talk to you about. One of the main attributes of a good leader is someone who understands what they know and can do and in what areas they need help. A good leader is capable of asking for guidance, at listening to the input, and then accepting what portion of that information feels valid for him or her. One of my mentors said to me, you have to decide do you want to be somebody or do you want to accomplish something? A good leader listens to the voices from all sectors and is able to filter wisdom from rhetoric. A good leader can back away from the fray and find a calm place in her brain and in her heart from which to make wise decisions. A good leader understands the balance between reason and feeling. A good leader values reflection without second guessing. A good leader knows when to respond quickly and when to invoke the weekend rule for perspective. A good leader is capable of acknowledging mistakes and learning from those experiences. Good leaders identify their core ethical principles and they live by them. Good leaders strive to grow in their knowledge of new ideas, new challenges, new perspectives, and new opinions. Good leaders use that knowledge of what is new to evaluate what is past and present, tried and true, and what should be kept as is, updated, or replaced. A good leader is creative and seeks unique solutions to common problems in order to strengthen partnerships within an organization. A good leader values all jobs, roles, and people within his organization and treats each individual 
with dignity and respect. Authentic leaders possess the following attributes. They have a passion for their purpose. They exhibit behaviors that demonstrate the values they live. They have a connectedness that acknowledges the value of relationships of all kinds. There's a consistency that arises from self-discipline and compassion that comes from the soul. It's an interesting era of leadership in our world, and I offer this one last observation. Authentic leaders do not always have a title. Authentic leaders do not push their way to the front of the line. Authentic leaders allow their actions, words, character, and results to motivate others who will support them and urge them forward. I challenge you to find the leader within you. We need a next generation of authentic leaders with strength of character and a moral compass, with boundless energy and an ability to focus on the prize. And in the immortal words of lyricist Lori McKenna and singer Tim McGraw, don't take for granted the love this life gives you. When you get where you're going, don't forget, turn back around and help the next one in line. Always stay humble and kind. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Campbell. We now welcome Dr. Greg Smith, the superintendent of Clear Creek Independent School District, to the podium for the superintendent's address. Thank you, Dr. Lemley. It's great to be with you uh, this afternoon. It's great to be inside with you this afternoon. This is our fourth graduation ceremony in four days, and it's good to be here sitting in the air conditioning. It's really nice. We've been glistening profusely outside during the evenings, some more so than others, um, but we've uh, certainly enjoyed our ceremonies, and this is one that's extremely special to the Board of Trustees and staff. So Clear Horizons Only College High School, 10 years old this year. And on behalf of our school district and the San Jacinto Community College system, we could not be more proud of the legacy and the academic achievement, personal perseverance and community-centered mindedness this class and the ones before you have created. But being of service to others does not always make for an easy life but I promise you it will be a rewarding one. There's nothing more worthwhile or even more satisfying than helping someone to better their life. Your story, collectively and many individually, have captured the hearts of this area. And I'm very sincere when I say that. I cannot think of a better story of strength and kindness than your fear your peer and your friend, Osvaldo Lozano. Osvaldo has cerebral palsy that may have limited his physical and oral capacities and capabilities, but has not limited his aspirations or his ability to achieve his goals. Matter of fact, Osvaldo has more credit hours than many of us uh, cumulative here received in our high school graduation. Matter of fact, I didn't get any on the way out the door. So congratulations to each and every one of you on that. Congratulations, Osvaldo. Osvaldo credits the special services program in Clear Creek ISD for his success. Osvaldo has taught all of us along the way as well. He will pursue a career in accounting, his dream profession. Osvaldo, I want you to know that we have been watching your progress and are in awe of you. You inspire us. You inspire us to be better today than we were yesterday. So I thank you, Osvaldo Lozano, and I thank you, and I thank his family as well. Congratulations. <laughs> Clear Horizons is known for its rigor, fast-paced, get-in, get-it-done approach to learning but it is also molded into more than just an academic sprint to a dual diploma. It is a place where you can still enjoy the mishaps and mischief, apparently. There's a few things that I did not know that Dr. Lenley brought to the surface today. But that's all part of teenage years, and that's okay. But in other words, it really has evolved into a well-balanced 
high school slash early college program. Balance because each of you bring your own personalities to the doors, including your very own principal, Dr. Lemley, who has a lot of charisma, a lot of pizzazz, and a lot of talents, along with Dr. Parker over here, your assistant principal. As a matter of fact, I've seen Miss Nyland, I've seen all three of these karaokeing in a car several times. So there's a lot of talent here that's just beginning to scratch the surface. Very impressive, very impressive. These outstanding leaders that you have in here can learn so much from these two, including, as I mentioned before, the karaoke opportunity. There may be some opportunities later on. Do you have project graduation tonight? This, this could happen. But you may not even have a, a yearbook this year if it wasn't for Kathy Wynn of the yearbook staff. It's if she didn't sweetly harass you to turn in your items to the point that she was uh, writing reminder notes on people's hands. Such persistence will serve her well. And all the turkeys and pumpkin decorations, posters announcing events would not have been created if it were not for the, the now dubbed pep squad of Clear Horizons. Uh, as a Kazia Abraham and Warisha Khan, thank you for staying up late before and after school events. You made sure that each student here experiences the gifts of high school. But what you are really, really ready to embark upon will not be easy. As a matter of fact, there is an irony that exists in today's society. Technology really has made us more connected than, ever, than we've ever been. And yet that connectedness is often superficial, creating an even greater chasm between us. When we fail to engage in direct human interaction, replace it with an electronic virtual reality, we begin to diminish our own humanity. Stay engaged, be present, get involved, be a, help, be a helper, and always remain humble. And by the way, Chris Anderson, that was beautiful. I looked over here and I was looking look for Aaron Neville for a moment. Here we hear that was a beautiful, you have a gift, my man. Thank you. But you have outstanding attributes and, and the humility is one of them. But when I think about all these attributes, I also think about Christopher Brown. This graduate lights up a room, and he's never met a stranger. Chris doesn't need an electronic device because he is a connector. He's the 9.0 version of the iPhone and the Samsung Galaxy all put together. His charisma is genuine and sincere. There is nothing that will stand in the way with what he wants to do in his life. Around my house, I'm blessed with girls. I even have two female dachshunds. But if I had a son, I'd want him to be just like you. You know, as the graduating class of 2017, I know that you have taken the road less traveled. No, check that. You haven't taken the road less traveled. There wasn't a road at all for you. <laughs> you came from another solar system. You're part of a new frontier, blazing away. You've experienced the exhilaration of winning and the life lessons learned from failure. Whether you joined us this past year or 13 years ago, it is my deepest hope that we have instilled in you the desire to keep dreaming and climbing, the passion for people so that you will always look down and behind you to make sure that no one is left behind or forgotten. And the heart, that heart to keep your parents and your family right alongside you. So have a great time out there and be sure to come back and see us where we will always be your home. Thank you. Our salutatorian has completed 78 college credit hours, an Associate of Science degree in Life Science, and an Associate of Arts degree in General Studies. She will enroll at Duke University and major in Public Health. It is my pleasure to welcome to the podium for the salutatory address, Miss Michelle Katie Maswa. Good 
afternoon, families, friends, teachers, administrators, and fellow classmates. I, Michelle Katie Moswa, the salutatorian of the class of 2017, welcome you to the moment that we have all been anxiously awaiting since we walked through the glass doors of Building 9 four distant years ago. The graduation of Clear Horizons class of 2017. Congratulations, everyone. We have finally made it. Before I begin, I would like to thank the leaders of Clear Creek ISD and San Jacinto College for all their contributions to our school and our education. I also want to thank Dr. Limley and Ms. Nylon for, and our school's amazing team of teachers and administrators for all the hard work and time you've put into making our high school experience both enjoyable and memorable. Most importantly, I want to thank all the friends and parents and family members that are standing in the audience today and that have been by our side throughout this journey. Thank you, Mom, because without you, your encouragement, and your not so gentle push towards Clear Horizons, I would not be sitting here today. As I sat on my bed at 2, 2 a.m. in the morning, struggling to write this speech, my mind was cluttered with plenty of thoughts. Should this speech be funny and witty like our class, or should I take a more serious approach and explore the deep implications of this significant moment in our lives? Would it be better to share my important memories or express those of the entire class? What message did I want to convey to my classmates? their families, our administrators. With these pressing questions floating through my mind, the only thing I knew was that I wanted this to make this speech memorable. I wanted it to reflect our class's charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. One thing I believe that many people can say is that our class is charismatic. Everyone in our class has a friendly aura that just naturally attracts people to them. And while some of us are definitely more social than others, we all have ties to one another, influencing and inspiring each other with our stories. Whether we're strutting our stuff down the hallways of San Jacinto, or simply believing that we can do anything, including interning for NASA, getting into our dream schools, and writing a 15-page paper in a night, <laughs> our confidence is intertwined with our optimism. While many of you might be scoffing right now, I would like to remind you guys that we are the class that holds hands and sings kumbaya when we think we're going to fail that physics test or AP exam. <laughs> and we all know we'll probably be all right, probably. Though we like to believe that we're a pessimistic group, that simply is not true at all. We embrace life with all of its challenges with a uniquely witty, witty form of optimism that is refreshing and an integral part of our class's personality. Additionally, the class of 2017 is like no other class that has ever graduated from Horizons. There is yet to be a class as large, diverse, and outstanding as we are, and we should take that knowledge with pride not only have we survived horizons, we have left with the knowledge to tackle anything that lies in our future. Whether it's mortgage payments or student loans, I know Dave Ramsey's radio show is only a phone call away. <laughs> Thanks to him, I know I won't ever have a car until I have $20,000 in cash to buy my dream soccer mom minivan. We have learned invaluable skills that will aid us in our journeys to becoming engineers, doctors, speech pathologists, and writers. Better yet, we have changed horizons for the better, leaving it a friendlier and more diverse place than when we arrived by establishing a standard of success and founding new clubs like the Spanish Club, the Gay Straight Alliance, and the Vietnamese Student Association that promote diversity and respect. Additionally, I am confident saying that we are the closest knit 
and most successful bunch that has ever walked through the halls of Building 9. Quite a few of us have even gone into some of the best universities in the nation, such as Yale, UT Austin, and Penn State, proving our academic excellence. However, just the fact that we are all standing here today as the largest group of students to graduate from Clear Horizons is a feat upon itself, demonstrating our determination, resilience, and aptitude for success. All of that takes a lot of nerve and quite a bit of talent to accomplish, something our class obviously has in great abundance. Not only did we have the audacity to stay with this challenging program and graduate with both a high school and college diploma, we've also been able to stand up for what we want and believe in. We came through with student design t-shirts articulating our feelings towards the changes to our Friday schedule. While not everyone necessarily agreed with our message, we, for the first time in a very long time, came together to express ourselves. Entwined with that nerve, our talents allow us to succeed. Some of us have beautiful voices and musical abilities that can melt the coldest of hearts, while some of us have more untraditional talents, like leading four clubs while simultaneously juggling calculus and internships. Others have been able to claw their way up the ranks and establish themselves at the top, and some of us have clung to the pack, refusing to be left behind, even when it would be easier to quit and return to our home schools. Regardless, the talents possessed by our class have allowed us to be unique and establish ourselves as one of the best graduating classes to date. Our class and its charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent has faced many ups and downs. We've had a blast these, pa these past four years, bonding and establishing deep connections with those around us, and that I sincerely hope rem will remain with, even with our departure. With our futures on the horizons, I want you all to remember the small things. Remember that weird conversation you had with the person sitting two rows behind you or two sit seats away from you. Remember the oh-so-wonderful smell of the banquet room. Remember your first time looking at the memes on Mr. Massey's door and trying to hide your smile because you did not want to find them funny, but you did anyway. Remember the nervousness you felt the first time you did an ISM presentation, but the relief you felt once it was over. Remember walking into advisory in Building 7 on a Monday morning, dreading the test that week, then blinking and it's suddenly Friday and you're deciding between Chick-fil-A and Cane's. Thank you, class of 2017, for putting up with my sass, snarky humor, and loudness for four tremendously long years. That is not an easy class, just ask my mom. <laughs> I cannot possibly express how much I will miss each and every one of you. It has been a pleasure to be part of this extraordinarily diverse group of students that I feel honored to call family. Regardless of where we go, what we do, or who we are in 10, 20, or 30 years, remember that the person you call your best friend now might not be your best friend then, but they're still only a phone call away. I wish the best for everyone in their endeavors, and I am so excited to see just how far we'll go. Thank you. Our valedictorian has completed 61 college credit hours and an associate degree in general studies. She will enroll at Wesleyan University and major in biochemistry. For the class of 2017 valedictory address, it is my honor to introduce to you Miss Sarah Shireen. Welcome, all proud mothers, ecstatic fathers, bored families, screaming babies, and jittered graduates to the graduation of the class of 2017, the ninth graduating class of Clear Horizons Early College High School. 
thank you for joining us as we celebrate our release from one of the longest relationships we have ever had, public education. Please secure your hypothetical seat belts and resupply your tear ducts because it's going to be a wild ride. I asked you all what you wanted to hear on this momentous day. You said you wanted to be inspired. You wanted to be reassured. You wanted to laugh until your abdominal muscles ached from the effort. Now, I'm not a funny person by any stretch of the word, but today I will deliver and hopefully prevail. <laughs> a couple of months ago, a few of my classmates raised the theory that the earth is flat. Yeah. <laughs> As a joke. Instead of being stricken with anguish at our school system, I was overjoyed with pride. The fact that they had the guts to question existing notions despite the overwhelming dissent from the rest of the student body was amazing to me. We're so ingrained with the fact that the earth is round that we never bother to question it. That's the scientist's job, right? In the words of playwright extraordinaire Arthur Miller, from the total questioning of what has previously been unquestioned, we learn. In my fellow classmates, I see the spirit that refuses to take what we believe as a society for granted. Even if we wipe the quadratic and the shell formulas from our minds. I hope we do not forget to question and learn as we have for the past 13 years. This is the way of thinking we need if we hope, to hope for the betterment of our precious yet imperfect society. It is this revolutionary way of thinking that teachers like Mr. Massey and Mr. McGoldrick always tried to instill in our adult minds. If we already know how to think like a revolutionary despite our young age, imagine what we can do in the future. Stay strong, my friends, and never stop questioning, because as soon as you settle on a set of notions, certain parts of the big picture will vanish right in front of your eyes without notice. Constantly question the stills that, is, that our society rests upon and either build them up or knock them down. This is a right and responsibility as educated and patriotic citizens. You may think I'm asking way too much of you. We who hold our dreams in our soft beating hearts are often disappointed. Our GPA is never good enough. Our SAT scores were never as high as we wanted, and we never got as much money from the colleges as we desperately needed. But class of 2017, we are rebels. We're not afraid to speak the voice of justice. We're capable of becoming someone beyond our greatest imagination. And the only thing we're bound by are ourselves and our doubts. We're thinkers who can see 12 steps before us and erase the disadvantageous ones. Trust the compass that is inside of you. Because there are no failures in life, but different paths. If you have a confined wish desperately fluttering to be freed, release it and follow it wherever it may lead, as long as it's not to jail. <laughs> Never use life as an excuse to keep yourself from reaching your true potential. 
Lastly, I want to thank all my teachers and professors through my school years for showing me my potential when I didn't think I had any. Thank you to those who metaphorically painted the floor with my brains and those who for helped me form it back into a coherent mass. Thank you for believing I have something to offer to this world. I hope that one day you can proudly claim that I was your student. My fellow graduates, I want to thank you all for all the moments of joy, sadness, and anger you shared with me for the last four years. There was never an easy moment with college classes, internships, and physics. <laughs> but we made it here <laughs> because we had each other. Thank you for always being there for me. Thank you for cheering me up on my lowest of days and cheering with me during my highest. Thank you for never voicing your distaste for my weirdness, even though it is quite difficult. Thank you for giving me a place to belong. To a To all those who allowed me to complain their ears off, cried with me while I cried, laughed at my terrible jokes, and argued with me over the classroom tables, thank you. It is really frightening to realize that we will no longer be walking in the same path as we have been for the past four years. I wish I could pack you all in a luggage and carry you around with me wherever I go. But alas, you have a life too. <laughs> we may never get the chance to share these moments again. However, I assure you that there are greater moments to come as long as you continue being the people I know and love. As for a last bit of advice before I end this droning speech, a strange art professor by the name of Gary Boulding once said, your families are extremely proud of you. You can't imagine the sense of relief they're experiencing. This would be a most opportune time to ask for money. <laughs> now, 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 wait, wait, wait. Before you turn this gymnasium into an amateur attempt of the American Ninja Warriors, wait for the graduation party. You'll have access to more pockets and less hospital visits that way. Thank you, and I wish you the best on your next adventure. Dr. Smith, will you please join me at the podium for the certification of candidates? Dr. Smith. I hereby certify that these students have successfully completed the course of study at Clear Horizons Early College High School as prescribed by the state of Texas. In addition, they have satisfied all the graduation requirements as stipulated by the Board of Trustees of the Clear Creek Independent School District. Dr. Lemley, I accept your certification hereby declare these students as graduates of Clear Horizons Early College High School and the Clear Creek Independent School District. With all the honors, rights, and privileges, congratulations. Thanks.
To help ensure that every family has the opportunity to hear their student's name, we ask that you refrain from yelling using air horns, whistles, or noisemakers. Please remain seated for the entire ceremony. We appreciate your cooperation. At this time, we are ready to begin the distribution of diplomas. The valedictorian for the class of 2017, Sarah Shiharin. The salutatorian for the class of 2017, Michelle Tanaka Titsi Kedimaswa. Kezia Abraham. Adamola David Adamo. Alejandra Mercedes Aguiar. Alejandro Aguirre. Mohammed Ahmed Kadar. Christopher Laron Anderson II. <laughs> Sina Aryan. <laughs> Caitlin Elizabeth Austin. <laughs> Jonathan Eric Beck. <laughs> Orlando Kendrick. Beckham the second. Brooke Alora Bogan. Kevin Anthony Booker. Jane Emily Bowman. Jade Kiera Treshawn Boyce. Sharon Noel Bristol. <laughs> Alyssa Nicole Brown. <laughs> Christopher Gerald Brown. <laughs> Nuriel Canizal. <laughs> Adam Cardenas. Avian Joseph alias Kasupang. Evan Sihung Chung. Sierra Niana Cole. Cody Elijah Travis Khan. Chrislyn Murnay Cotton. Chase Allen Crocker. Mackenzie Christine Crockford. Desiree Michelle Damien. Jennifer Savannah Dan. Sarah Grace Davis. Allison Hannah Dean. Alexander Duyon Doe. David James Ellison. Lauren Danielle Ureste. 
Arelli Rosalie Ferrer. Jacqueline Flores. Kara Megan Franzen. Allison May Fuchs. Lindsay Nicole Fuchs. Emily Erin Gray. Nathan Glenn Grizel. Sarah Beth Halperin. Anastasia Tatiana Janea Holman. Andrew Scott Hudson. Sheikh Adil Hussein. Naji Saber Hussein. Trish Tan Huynh. Omer Muhammad Irshad. Sydney Michelle Jenkins. Joshua Alexander Jimenez. Solomon David Cabuteri. Angela Nalule Charabo Casule. Hanan Ahmad Khan. Warisha Azam Khan. Sharuk Barkat Lalani. Stephen Lemus. Deandra Juliana Leon. Andrea Dorelli Lopez. Osvaldo Lozano. Trong Trent Mai. Maxine Sophia Palerina Memetag. Diego Martin Del Campo. Megan Nicole Martinez. Amelia Jillian Moreno. Gabriel Bernard Moreno. Bernard. Sophia Pilar Moreno. Kathy Wynn. Michelle T. Wynn. Rebecca To Win. <laughs> Teresa Kim Win. <laughs> Trung Tan Win. <laughs> Tilak Himong <laughs> Patel. Jennifer Aislin Perez. Emily Jane Perez Negron. Megan Nicole Perry. 
Barbara DiMello De Costa Pires. Elizabeth Marie Quinn. Hassan Salim Qureshi. Caitlin Elizabeth Rains. Cooper James Riggle. Matthew Charles Roberts. Sophia Sheranovich. <laughs> Leaf. Leaf Arden Shupla. Imran Sohail Siddiqui. Malik Amir Sivils. Jeffy Sojin. Emily Storm Stone. Wasifuddin Syed. Timothy Joseph Sokot. Samantha Lee Tillman. <laughs> Kenneth Tran Toe. Brandon Hui Tran. Daisy One Tran. V. Win Tran. <laughs> Lenny Martha Cudio Varghese. <laughs> Monique Villanueva. <laughs> Sophia Jawed Virani. Brittany Loriellen Fong. Jonchi Wong. Kyle Thomas Ibarra. Paola Valentina Zerpa Ortega. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a privilege to introduce the 2017 graduates of Clear Horizons Early College High School. Graduates, I commend you on earning your high school diploma and associate's degrees. At this time, please move your tassel to the left, signifying that you are now alumni of Clear Horizons Early College High School. Graduates, we ask that you please rise for some closing remarks from our senior class president, Mr. Adam Cardenas. So as we all leave our seats and say goodbye to our alphabetical by last name buddies for the last time, most of us are going to hug and some of us are going to cry. But we must remember one last time that high school is over, and we are done. <laughs> and we're never going to be 16, 17, or 18 ever again. But this, this is just the beginning. 
It's the beginning of years of new friendships and new loves and new adventures. It's the beginning of a lifetime of heartbreak, healing, and happiness. I don't know who's going to have six kids in 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> or who's going to own their own medical or law practice, or even if we're going to continue talking to each other. Because I honestly don't even know what I'm going to eat after this, and I'm really hungry. I didn't eat this morning. <laughs> but anyway, I know that these past four years at Clear Horizons, the, we're not ending. We're just starting. We have so many places to go and so many people to meet and so much to do. So whether you come from Portugal, Pakistan, or China, Nigeria, France, or Vietnam, Zimbabwe, Venezuela, or good old Houston, Texas, <laughs> class of 2017, please grab your caps, gowns, two degrees, and let's walk into our new lives to conquer the world. <laughs>